Hey what's going on guys it's Adam here and welcome to the video we've all been waiting for and that is the iPhone 12 Pro Max review. Now I'm going to throw a couple timestamps up here on screen right now so that way if you want to look at a specific part of this phone then you can skip right to that but if you want to watch the whole video in its entirety you can do that as well. Now let's get right into the video. Now let's start with build quality. The build quality on this iPhone is unlike any other iPhone especially with the brand new design. The back is a frosted matte glass, which is very nice, and the sides are stainless steel borders, but that also means they are a fingerprint magnet, and the screen goes edge to edge, which again makes this the biggest iPhone Apple has ever created. So, very nice design, very bright, vivid screen, it's overall great design. Now. Onto the battery, the battery life of this phone is much better than I thought it would be because it's being the biggest phone. Also, the battery size decreases to 2,775 milliamp hours. I thought the battery would take a hit, but to my surprise, the battery did not take a hit honestly at all. And if anything, it's gotten much better. There are some days where I've charged the phone to 100% and I've gotten over 10 hours of battery life off a single charge. The battery on this phone is an absolute champ and does not take a hit. Now, speaking of battery, let's talk about performance. The performance of the A14 Bionic chip inside the iPhone 12 Pro Max is its just insane. It's a 5 nanometer architecture, the smallest and first and fastest chip Apple has probably ever created. They say it every year and they live up to their expectation. Unless you're constantly exporting 4K files, this phone isn't going to take a hit. It might suck up more battery, but performance, you are not going to take a hit. This year on Apple stage, they made huge claims about 5G. Now, is that really important? Is that a reason you want to buy this phone? No, not at all. The fact that it has 5G means it's super future proof. But is that a reason you should go out and run and buy it right now? Not at all, you know. 4G still mainly rules the world for now. 5G is new. It'll take time and it'll get better. But, you know, for now, it really does not matter because we just don't have the technology fully developed yet. So 5G is definitely not a reason you should go out and buy this phone. But it will be future-proof, which is, I guess, a cool factor in itself. And it's ready for it, so that's really cool. Now, next up, onto the cameras and LiDAR. These cameras right here are absolutely amazing some of the best cameras I have ever tested in any phone, whether that be Android or iPhone. It has three cameras, four if you include the LiDAR sensor, but that's more of a depth sensor. We'll get into that though. So there are a wide variety of cameras on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We have an f2.4 aperture ultra wide lens, f2.2 telephoto lens, and an f1.6 aperture wide angle lens, along with the LiDAR sensor. The wide angle camera takes great detailed shots. It may overexpose or lose focus in some night shots, but for the most part, it's really, really good. The telephoto lens, you get those crisp detailed shots. And for the ultra wide lens, you get those broad wide photos that a lot of people like. Now for the video portion, the front and back camera both shoot 4K 60. So here are a couple clips with that. Now, as you may remember, Apple talked about the brand new sensor shift in the iPhone 12 Pro Max. But as you can see from these shots, it really doesn't do that much. The videos are stable and I'm shooting them with my bare hands and it looks really good. But is that really a noticeable difference? Not entirely. So should you buy this phone, if you want the latest and greatest from Apple, this phone right here does not disappoint at all. It's absolutely amazing. It's fast. It's great. Great battery life. Great screen. Absolutely 10 out of 10 recommendation if you want the latest and greatest and you have the money to spend on it. If you have an 11 Pro Max or even the iPhone XS Max, I would hold off because you're still getting good performance and you still have good battery life. But anything I would say below a 10s. I would consider this if you're looking for the best and biggest phone from Apple. Now, some people may not like the biggest phone. In that case, I'd go for the 12 Pro if you still want that Pro line of features. And if you don't want that, the 12 offers a better budget-friendly phone for the price. So I would say the 12 Pro, amazing if you want the biggest and best, 
the 12 Pro if you just want the best that Apple offers and not the biggest, and the 12 if you just want the latest phone with great features. So, with that all being said, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This video took a lot of time and a lot of effort, so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below and by hitting that like button. And if you have any questions about the phone that you want to know, I'll be down in the comments for basically ever, so just let me know down there. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you really enjoyed it, then make sure to subscribe. We're going to have new videos coming out very shortly, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.